everyone. I'm going to read you guys one of my favorite books. This book is called The Big Orange Splot. The Big Orange Splot. The Big Orange Splot by Daniel Manus Pinkwater. Mr. Plumbean lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way. So did everyone else on Mr. Plumbean Street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbean's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. No one knows why. And he dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbing's house. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbing's house. Oh, too bad, everybody said. Mr. Plumbean will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will said Mr. Plumbean, but he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange splot for a long time. Then he went about his business. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange splot. Someone said, Mr. Plumbean, we wish you'd get around to painting your house. Okay, Mr. Plumbean said. He got some blue paint and some white paint. And that night, he got busy. He painted at night because it was cooler. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue, the walls were white, and the big orange splot was still there. Then he got some more paint. He got red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same. But Mr. Plumbing's house was like a rainbow. It was like a jungle. It was like an explosion. There was the big orange spot, and there were little orange spots. There were stripes. There were pictures of elephants and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Plumbean has popped his cork, flipped his wig, blown his stat, and dropped his stopper. They went away muttering. That day, Mr. Plumbean bought carpenter's tools. That night, he built a tower on top of his roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. The next day, the people said, Plumbean has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, and slipped his hosser. They decided they would pretend not to notice. That very night, Mr. Plumbean got a truck full of green things. He planted palm trees, baobabs, thorn bushes, onions, and frangipani. In the morning, he bought a hammock and an alligator. When the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumbean swinging in a hammock between two palm trees. They saw an alligator laying in the grass. Mr. Plumbean was drinking lemonade. Plumbeam has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Plumbeam, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. My house is me, and I am it. My house is where I like to be, and it looks like all of my dreams, Mr. Plumbeam said. The people went away. They asked the man who lived next door to Mr. Plumbeam to go and have a talk with him. Tell him that we liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that a house on this street has to be the same as ours, so we can have a neat street. The man went to see Mr. Plumbean that evening. They sat under the palm trees, drinking lemonade and talking all night long. 
Early the next morning, the man went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next door to Mr. Plumby. What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. My house is me and I am it. My house is where I like to be and it looks like all my dreams, said the man, who had always loved ships. He's just like Plumbeam, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and knots in his noodle. Then, one by one, they went to see Mr. Plumbeam late at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbeam's house, the very next day, that person would sit about changing, would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams. Whenever a stranger came to the street of Mr. Plumbeam and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be and it looks like all of our dreams. For your assignment this week, I want you guys to draw and color a picture of your dream house. Remember, when you have an art assignment, you can draw your picture on paper and use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have, or you could use the Canvas app. I'll send a link to that. Or if you're in Seesaw, you could use um, the Seesaw drawing tool. If you do your drawing on paper, be sure you take a picture of it and send it to me. Here's mine. I love roller coasters. This would be my dream house. I could get up out of bed every morning and go jump on my very own roller coaster. Have fun, guys. See you soon.